I used to play baseball and basketball and football and all these other sports as a little kid and then one day I remember vividly just doing a turn on a surfboard and like angling to the right and then that feeling and the speed that I had that day made me stop every other sport essentially and move straight into surfing. I definitely had some desire and drive to kind of find something that excited me as a little kid, whether it was sports, surfing, or riding my bike, whatever it was. About 12 or 13 is when I start to figure out like, wow, I really want to do what these guys are doing in the magazines and in the surf movies. And you start fabricating all these dreams about having sponsors and traveling the world. So pretty early on, it started to hit me that this is what I wanted to be doing. I think it just surfing and having a good understanding of waves and like where to be and when to be there, like the timing of it just comes from a lifetime of passionately like devoting yourself to that sport. The ocean's ultimately in control. You're never going to be able to figure it out entirely, but these little nuances you might be able to start to figure out in the smallest parts and that does add up after years and years and years in the water. I think for me what excites me about finding a bigger wave or finding the next thing within our sport is every day you surf it's always different and it's so far and few between that you get like a 60 foot swell with light winds and that's a really big opportunity to push yourself and see where you are mentally and physically when you commit to one of those waves that finding those days that give you opportunity and for me it's kind of finding them wherever they happen to be in the world. If you wait at one location, you might only get a few of those days a year, but if you have the means and the desire to chase these swells all over the planet, then you'll get a lot more opportunity. I just feel like I'm chasing like this dream of putting yourself in a place that has opportunity to push yourself. Two days before the swell hits, you have a really good idea of how big it's going to be, what the local weather is going to be. The night before is obviously a horrible night of sleep with nerves, anxiety, and in our film we touch on all of that. We're all a little scared and kind of concerned about how big it's going to be out there today, but hopefully it's somewhat manageable. And then the morning of starts at 4.30 and then you just, it's like a blitz. I feel like I'm in this crazy chaotic space of everything all over the place and then the minute I hit the water everything slows down. That's like okay now I'm in the water, I'm on my way there, I can see what the texture of the ocean is, I can see how big it feels from all the swells we're going over on our way there and then after that the day just kind of turns into like autopilot, you like narrow in on one thing. It's satisfying just to see the day, not necessarily the surfing. Getting to that day and just putting yourself in the water was more of my focus than like, okay, I need to ride the biggest wave of my life, or I need to do this, or I need to do that. It became more about like the day as a whole. And at the end of the day, our goal with this film was like for people to not only watch it and come away with an idea of how all the athletes are in the ocean, but how they are as people. And if it does ignite a little inspiration in the next generation of kids and give them a platform to jump off of, then that's progression.